Hi dancers, thank you for stopping by my channel. My name is Sam and today we're going to talk a little bit about props that you might need for yin yoga. So last week I released a video about yin yoga and the benefits it can have for dancers specifically and this week I thought I would just introduce some yoga props that I use for yin classes specifically and just kind of tell you what they're used for, why you would need them in a yin class and where you can find them for yourself. So in yin yoga, as I mentioned in my previous video, it is very important that we're very passive, we're using very little to no muscle engagement to achieve the asanas and the poses that are required for this practice. What that means, however, is that sometimes the gap between our body and the floor is a little bit too big for us to feel truly comfortable within that pose. So a good example is pigeon pose, or in yin yoga you would call it swan pose. There might be a gap between your supporting hip and the floor, and if that was the case, putting a block underneath your hip would be a really great way to help make you fully comfortable and able to relax into the posture. The first prop that I'll introduce to you are yoga blocks. Now I've already used some blocks in my channel for some vinyasa flows. They're also really great for that style of yoga. For yin, it's really important to have blocks handy because Again, you can use them to close that gap, rest part of your body on the blocks. Now, the second prop that I'll introduce to you here is a yoga bolster. Essentially, this is a very, very thick and very dense pillow. And again, it has the same sort of purpose as blocks, but it is just a little bit bigger and of course a little bit more comfortable because it is padded and it's like a pillow. Great example of where you would use something like this is in a pose like supported fish. So this is an extreme back bend and in yin we want to make it passive so you don't want to engage any muscles. And so by relaxing your body over top of a bolster instead of on top of blocks, it just makes it a hundred times more comfortable and much easier to relax. So another really crucial tool to have in your yin yoga kit would be this yoga bolster right here. And the third and final prop that I would like to introduce to you is a yoga strap. So I kind of went with a blue theme here when I was shopping. This is going to close the gaps between two different points of your body. The perfect example in yin yoga where we would use the strap is if you were doing a leg pull. So if you're lying down flat on your back, holding your leg up in the air. If you're just using your arms, that can put a lot of pressure and a lot of strain on the upper body and the biceps to kind of hold the leg there. So what we do is we take a strap folding it over the foot like so and then extending the leg and holding the strap a little bit farther down so that again we can achieve that very passive energy as we're going into this posture. So those are the three main props that you'll need for yin yoga and especially for any classes that I do on my channel, I will start to incorporate these props so it is a good idea to get yourself some. There are some really cheap options available and I've made it super easy for you. I have put Amazon links to all of these props down below in the description so if you just head there you'll see everything that you need and you can just purchase it that way, get it shipped to you so it's super super straightforward and doesn't take much hunting. A couple other links that you'll find in the description down below is I have a link for this particular yoga mat which I absolutely love. It's so comfortable, the grip is amazing. It's also reversible so sometimes in some videos you'll see I use this side of the mat instead of the bright colorful one. Just depends on the style of class and my preference. But there are some other designs there in that link so you can check that out if you're also looking for a yoga mat. And I also have a link to this lovely mat carrier which I use to cart my mat to and from filming, to and from different classes. I've traveled, so this has come on the plane with me before. So there are lots of different options and different links for you to check out. You can kind of shop around and see what works best for you. The final link I'm gonna add in the description down below is actually a link to the yin yoga training that I did and completed. I completed it with another Canadian yogi 
Her name is Cassandra and she also has her own YouTube channel. I've been following her for a couple of years now and when I saw that she was doing her very own yin yoga training online, I jumped at the opportunity and I've absolutely fallen in love with it. It's inspired me to provide yin for dancers here on my channel. So if there are any other teachers out there that are looking to kind of expand their vocabulary and are looking for different ways of movement, different ways of stretching, I would highly recommend this program. That is also linked in the description down below. So that's all for today. It was a short video, but I hope you found some value, and I hope you now know a little bit more about the props that are needed for yin yoga. So be sure to check out those links down below, and also, do, before you go, do not forget to like and subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness. I will be releasing new videos every single Friday. For September, I've got an exclusive yin series happening, so you'll find lots of really great yin yoga classes specifically aimed for dancers. So thank you once again, and I hope to see you on the mat again soon.